Hello and welcome to one of our winter sports previews here on the Bryant Sports Network. Today we have men's hoops. I'm Pat Puzo, joined by head coach now in his ninth season at the helm, Tim O'Shea, and senior forward Dan Garvin. Coach, the week is here. You guys have Notre Dame this weekend, Saturday. Thoughts on how the preseason has gone and how everyone has been coming together? Well, we had an early start to our season with a trip to Italy in August. Brought us together for some practice plus games over there. So we have a really good handle on our personnel, much more so than if we'd started at the tra tra uh, traditional time in early September. I like our town. I think our guard play is explosive. I think we've got firepower. I think that's what last year's team was lacking. And by firepower, I mean the ability to score the basketball. We've got a veteran in Dan Garvin back, who I think could be one of the better players in our conference. Certainly has a chance to lead the league in rebounding. Um, you know, again, if we find the chemistry, we weathered this very tough non-conference schedule. I think we have a chance to play at the top of the NEC this year. You mentioned the trip to Italy guys getting an early look at the team about two weeks or so before the academic year began. What good did that do getting a look at how everyone was going to kind of shape together? Those trips are allowed once every four years by the NCAA and um, I, I make it a priority to try and find the funding to do that and really what it does it allows us to get an early look at our freshmen, it allows to, us to build some team chemistry, to bond, um, there's nothing like going to a foreign country being away from really your cell phones, the internet, uh, for a team to come together and really get to know each other. And we played some very good competition. So it was a huge advantage for us going into this season to have that opportunity, especially when you consider the fact that we have six freshmen on this team. One of the things you have done in your time here at Bryant is really challenge yourself in the non-conference. Each of the last two years, you have taken on the defending national champs. Two years ago, you played UConn in the season opener, last season Duke. This year, really no exception, opening up at Notre Dame, a team that has made it to the Elite Eight in each of the last two years. Looking ahead, you play Gonzaga next week on the road, a team that is ranked preseason top 25. Play Ohio on the road, uh, play Yale at home, a team that won a tournament game last year. What is your thoughts on the non-conference slate and how that will really mature your guys moving forward? Well, there's a lot to it. I mean, there's a lot more than just basketball with our strategy with our non-conference schedule because we have a certain number of games that we can play outside the NEC. And what we try to do uh, for the university uh, and that's part of the reason they went to Division One. is we try to raise the profile of the university through scheduling. So when you play a Notre Dame, you play a Duke, a UConn, Indiana, Gonzaga, Northwestern, so on and so on, um, you get on national TV. Uh, there is some revenue involved, but there's also tremendous exposure for the school. And there are also games like Harvard, Yale, Dartmouth, Brown, uh, the Naval Academy, uh, you know, top-notch academic schools that also have excellent athletic programs. I think when uh, President Makeley made the decision to go to Division I, he wanted to utilize the visibility that athletics can bring to a university in the most positive way. And one of the ways we try to take advantage of that, truthfully, is through scheduling. Scheduling those great academic schools. We'll have Harvard coming here for a game in January. They've got maybe a top 25 team this year. And let's face it, Harvard is probably the, the strongest brand name in all of higher education. Uh, Notre Dame, nothing is more synonymous with academic and athletic excellence in this country, the Notre Dame athletics. So these are the type of opportunities um, we try to, you know, to put into our schedule, but it's a strategy behind it. And it's also, you know, there's a big part of it is how do we help the university, uh, you know, raise visibility. Just the Duke game last year, we got so much um, buzz around campus, but also among the alumni. And it's not just basketball, it's our athletic program as a whole, the 20, over 22 sports. If you look at the way the number of applications have gone up each year since we've gone Division I, um, it seems to be working. Dan, there's a lot of excitement in and around this team this season with the freshmen you guys brought in, a lot of athleticism, explosiveness, and quickness. You was one of the three seniors on this year's team, one of the leaders. What have you been seeing within the new guys and yourself as well? How has everyone been kind of meshing together? Uh, one thing that I'd say is uh, we're actually all on the same page. That's a big thing for us. Like Coach was talking about the Italy trip, it was a great, um, great opportunity for us to not only play together, but um, you know, get on the same page and just get to know each other. That really helped us as far as being together on the court and off the court. And you personally, you experienced a lot of early success in your freshman and sophomore year. You, you were on teams that made it to the NEC tournament. Last year, five wins in the conference. You had some injuries later in the season. What is the motivation like for you this year to get back to the tournament with the guys you have around you? Well, uh, last year was obviously tough, but um, to realize this for um, myself and um, Justin, Justin Bergman, the other senior, it's our last chance. So it's our job to get everyone on the same page. We know what it takes to get there. So we have to get them with us and then um, 
really just, we just got to play. That's what it's coming down to. Coach, year in and year out in Northeast Conference, we see it. Teams from top to bottom have talent. The league can really be wide open. With the players you have this season that you've assembled, what is your thoughts on the NEC play and what do you guys stack up? Well, look, our talent is really uh, much improved. I mean, a year ago, we were going into a season where we graduated two guys that ended up playing in Europe, with Joe O'Shea and De'Ami Starks from the previous year. So we didn't have, again, the firepower, that ability to score the basketball. We brought in some really good young talent, but they are young. Um, you know, in our, our backcourt right now, our top four guards, uh, let's see what, two are, two are freshmen and um, a sophomore and a junior, so it's a young group. Uh, we've got to see how they withstand the early non-conference schedule, obviously be severely challenged, you know, with the people we play, but I think they're up to it. And I think athletically, we've never been in a better position to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with elite programs that are on our schedule, but also within our league. So again, I think if we, if we stay the course, we continue to improve, can avoid the injury bug, I think, um, you know, as the NEC schedule rolls around, and especially the tournament rolls around, I think we can be positioned to make a serious run at the top of the league, just like FDU did last year. They're a great example of this league. I think they were preseason pick ninth. They were a young team. They came together, got hot at the right time, and ended up representing the NEC in the NCAA tournament, which of course is our goal. Bulldogs open their season this Saturday at Notre Dame, tip-off scheduled for 12 p.m. Eastern time. With the Bryan Sports Network, I'm Pat Puzo.